Hello, guys. My name is Akash. Today, I am going to present machine learning capstone project called Bike Sharing Demand Prediction. Let's see content in our project. Defining problem statement, data summary, insights from our data set, EDA, feature engineering, applying ML algorithm, comparing different ML models, challenges, and last one, conclusion. Let's start defining problem statement. Rental bike service is very crucial in many urban cities for the enhancement of mobility comfort. It is important to make the rental bike available and accessible to the public at the right time as it lessens the waiting time. Eventually, providing the city with a stable supply of rental bikes becomes a major concern. Therefore, we have to predict the number of rental bikes required in each hour for smooth functioning of service. Data summary. We are given data set containing count of rental bikes from December 2017 to November 2018 for each day and each hour of day. Along with count of rental bikes, there are following variable also present. First one, date, year, month, day. In rental bike count, count of bikes rental at each hour, in hour, hour of the day. In temperature, temperature in Celsius, humidity in percentage in wind speed meter per second, visibility 10 meter, dew point temperature in Celsius, solar radiation mj by m square, in rainfall mm, in snowfall centimeter, in season winter, spring, summer, autumn, in holiday, holidays, like no holidays, function day, functional day, no, no functional R, S, function. Rental bike count is dependent variable. And this data set contains 8,760 lines and 14 columns. Three category, categorical features for season, holiday, and functioning day. One date time feature date. We have some numerical types variable such as temperature, humidity, wind, visibility, dew point temperature, solar radiation, rainfall, snowfall, which tells the environment conditions at that particular hour of the day. Let's see data summary. Rental by count are temperature, humidity, wind speed, visibility, Dew point temperature, solar radiation, rainfall, snowfall. In our data set, numerical and categorical. In a categorical, date, season, holiday, and functional day. Dependent variable is rental bike count that describes the count of rental bikes for each hour. Insights from our data set. There are no missing values present. There are no duplicate values present. There are no null values also. And finally, we have rented by count variable which we need to predict for new observations. The data set shows hourly rented data for one year, 1st December 2017 to 31 November 2018 in 365 days. We consider this as a single year data. So we convert the date column into three different columns, year, month, and day. We change the name of some features for our convenience. They are below rented by cam, R, temperature, humidity, wind speed, visibility, dew point temperature, solar radiation, rainfall, snowfall, seasons, holiday, 
functioning day, month, and weekdays, weekend. Let's see E D A. Let us see how the values operated by count are distributed in given data set. Distribution of values is highly positively screwed. From the above point plot and bar plot, we can say that in the weekdays, which present in blue color, shows that the demand of the bike higher because of the office. Peak time are 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. The orange color represent the weekend days and it show that the demand of rented bikes are very slow, especially in the morning hour, but when the evening start from 4 p.m. to 8 p.m., the demand slightly increases. From the month 5th to 10th, the demand of the rented bike is high as compared to other months. These months are comes inside the season. Count of values categorical features. Functioning day and holiday have highly imbalanced count of values. Delete outlier in rented bike count column. The above graph shows that rented bike count has moderate right skews, skewness. The above box plot shows that we have detect outlier in rented bike count column. Since the assumption of linear regression is that the distribution of dependent variable has to be normal. So we should perform square root operation to make it normal. After applying square root to the skewed rented by count, here we can get almost normal distribution. After applying square root to the rental by count column, we find that there is no outlier present. The most positively correlated variable to the rented are the temperature, the dew point temperature, the solar radiation, and most negatively correlated variable are humidity and rainfall. Linear regression looks, looks like our R square score value is 0 0.77. That means our model is able to capture most of the data variance. The R square score for the test set is 0 0.78. This means our Linear model is performing well on the data. Lasso regression and ridge regression. In lasso regression, looks like our R square score value is 0 0.40. That means our model is not able to capture most of the data variance. The R square, R square score for the test set is 0 0.38. This, this means our linear model is not performing well on the data. Looks like our R square score value is 0 0.77. That means our model is able to capture most of the data variance. The R score square score for the test set is 0 0.78. This means our linear model is performing well on the data. We are finding lasso regression and ridge regression. Then Elastic net regression looks like our R score, R square score a value is 0 0.62. That means our model is able to capture most of the data variance. The R square score for the test set is 0 0.86. This means our linear model is performing well on the data. Future transformation. Due to presence of categorical features, we can't find feed data directly in ML algorithm. We need to perform categorical features that have string data type to numerical data type, for which we have used one hot encoding and label encoding for categorical features in season, summer, winter, autumn, and spring.
on one hot encoding. Similarly for the holiday and functional day features. Applying ML algorithm. Since we have to predict the count of printed bytes required per hour, hence we have to use regression algorithms. Algorithms that we will use are decision tree, random forest, linear regression, lasso regression, ridge regression, and elastic map regression. Applying ML algorithm. Applying supervised ML algorithms have following steps. First one, preparing data for model, then training and hyperparameter tuning, then evaluating model on the test, on test data. Challenges in our project, large data set to handle, need to plot lot of graphs to analyze future engineering, future selection, optimizing the model, carefully tune hyperparameters as it affects the R square root score. And last one, conclusion in R project. In the given data set, there was no strong linear relation between dependent variable rented by count and independent features. That's why linear regression model and its other regularization variant models didn't perform well. Out of all models, we apply decision tree and a random forest model are most accurate. Reason for this are no specific relation between features and large data. Random forest performed based as it is an ensemble model, but and result from multiple decision tree is average out of how to give the prediction. Functioning day is the most influencing feature and temperature is at second place for the linear regression. Temperature is the most important feature for the decision tree, random forest and gradient boosting regressor. Functioning day is the most important feature and winter is the second most for the XG boost regressor. RMSC comparisons. Linear regression RMSC is 370.46. Decision tree regressor RMSC is 302, sorry, 302.53. Random forest, forest regressor RMSC is 290.02. XG boost regressor RMSC is 242.72. Gradient boosting regressor, RMSC is 248.18. The future temperature is one, the top list for all regressor except XG boost. XG boost is acting different from all regressors as it is considering whether it is winter or not, and it is a working day or not. Though, Winter is also a function of temperature only, but it seems this trick of XGBoost is giving better results. XGBoost regressor has the least root mean square error. So it can be considered as the best model for given problem. Thank you.